This is one of the most exciting track battles of the year. We've got two of the most expensive and most powerful sports cabriolets money can buy. Going head to head here at Blyton Test Track is the BMW M6 Cabriolet and the SL63 AMG. I'm going to time each of these cars around this demanding handling circuit to see which can put in the quickest lap time. First up, it's the £99,000 BMW M6 Convertible. Its 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 produces 552 brake horsepower and 680 newton metres of torque, and it sends it all to the rear wheels via a 7 speed dual clutch gearbox. 0 to 60 takes around 5.3 seconds, and the top speed is limited to 155 miles per hour. And in case you're wondering, its fabric roof takes 19 seconds to fold away. Okay, so let's find out what this M6 is all about. I've got the roof down, obviously, and now I've got the suspension, the engine and the steering in the sportiest setting, and I've got the stability control turned off. So let's just see what it's like, get some heat in the rear tyres. Yeah, it goes sideways really easily. That's what we expected. This engine is astonishing. So twin turbocharged V8, just over 550 brake horsepower, 680 newton meters of torque. But it's the way that the power's delivered that's incredible. It's just instant torque. So all the way through the rev range, you've got power on tap. And there's a lovely firecrackery exhaust notes. Just really, the throttle response is just, it's just sensational. And it just makes this car feel so quick. But it does weigh over 2,000 kilograms, so here in this hard braking zone, you can really feel that weight. But lateral body control is quite good, and you can see there you can just dial it into oversteer with the throttle, and it is beautifully balanced, just how you'd expect a BMW to be. So another fast corner coming up, third gear. Let's go in on the brakes, a little bit on the throttle, and then just still there, just dialing it into oversteer. You can feel the weight, but it's very well controlled. So the M6 has got a double clutch gearbox, and in its fast setting that we're in now, the shifts are amazing, they're super fast, and there's a lovely rasp on the exhaust on every up change, and a really big razor sharp blip on the down change. Let's smooth it all out, start a flying lap, and see what sort of lap time this BMW can do. So uh, start down the start finish line here, into this first corner, it's quite a tough one, this. you have to be very patient with the power, down the second gear, just in there, again, it's very instant throttle response, so it's really waiting with the power, still in second gear, and now into the throttle. The traction here is pretty good, given that we've got everything turned off, that's just raw mechanical traction over the bumps there. Up to fourth gear, that's just over 100 miles an hour, it's coming up to 120. Stand on the brakes here, and this is where you really feel the weight, but the car still slows down really well. Second gear, really tight chicane, and then try not to get too much oversteer there, but again, mechanical traction when the tyres are hot is really good. Up to fourth gear again, nudging over 100 miles an hour. Hard braking down the third gear. We're going to stay in third here, try and carry some speed through the corner, use all the road, coax to the bumps really well, the BMW. Again here, another corner where we've got to be very patient with the power, let the car roll out to the outside, and then just feeding the power in all the way through the corner. A little bit of oversteer on the exit. Real high speed, change of direction here. So third gear to the right. You can feel the car moving and loading up the tyres, but big 20 inch rubber. And then hard on the brakes again. Second gear, car squirms a little bit on the brakes, the brakes get hot. Again, but lots of oversteer there, so it's hard. You've got to be remember to be patient with the power, didn't lose too much time. And then cross the line and finish the lap. So the BMW sets the pace with a lap time of 1 minute 13.9 seconds. Next up is the much lighter Mercedes. The SL63 AMG also has a twin turbo V8, but it has 5.4 litres and 556 brake horsepower and 800 newton metres of torque. But if you want more performance, you can spend an extra £12,530 to get Mercedes's performance pack, and it raises power up to 556 brake horsepower and a huge 900 newton metres of torque. This means you can get Dunal to 60 in 4 seconds and have a top speed of 186 miles per hour. However, the Mercedes loses the first time trial as its roof takes a second longer to fold away. But then it is metal, not fabric. Okay, so we jumped into the uh, SL, and the first thing you notice is this car's got an amazing firecracker exhaust note, really amazing. This car's got ceramic brakes, and they're a real big stopping power, probably a bit better than the BMW. But, and the first thing you notice is this car just feels so much lighter than the BMW. It is lighter, but it feels it. So as you come towards the corner and turn in, it's just much more positive on the front end. It turns in much sharper, changes direction better. Still dialing to the front, we'll get lots of oversteer, trying to get some heat into those rear tyres. 
but it just feels so much lighter on its feet, so much more agile than the BMW. Um, it's a bit edgier when you go sideways, it snaps back a bit more than the BMW. It's not quite as controllable in a slide, but it's more than good enough. But through here, high speed change direction, much better than the BMW. That exhaust note is awesome. Gearbox is fast, not quite as, as nice a blip on the downshift as a bit as the BMW, but we're talking small differences. Okay, so we're going to smooth it out now and start a time lap. And I think this is where the Mercedes might really come into its own. You have to be careful not to hit the rev limiter because it really kills power for too long. So fourth gear, down to second through here. And this is where it's just got so much grip, really good front end grip, really good traction. It's a little bit sort of a fraction inert. It's not a huge amount of feel, but it's just got stacks of grip, great front end. Coming up to this big stop into this tight chicane down to third gear, down down to second gear, and in here on the exit, traction's pretty good, hard on the power. Down to third, carry the speed through there, and that's really impressive, it just turns in really well, you can really carry the speed. Go down to second here, just keep it quite low in the revs, feeding the power in all the way around. Body control is really good, and you really notice now through this fast high speed S's just how well the Mercedes changes direction from left to right at high speed. Hard on the brakes, second gear, it moves around a little bit under braking, but nothing that's unnerving. Hard on the power, last corner, keep it nice and tight, nice and smooth. Great traction, and across the line. The SL crossed the line in a time of 1 minute 12.9, so it's a whole second faster than the BMW. So with its lighter weight and better high speed body control, in this particular track battle, it's the clear winner.